Yes, you can say that most of the innovations are done beyond technology. We know from the empirical studies that more or less 10% of the innovation is real technology driven. A lot of other innovation come by new ideas on new markets, on new customer demands, on new business models. And let me give an example with Ryanair. So Ryanair started a real new business by a cost, low cost uh, um, carrier, being a low cost carrier after the, the deep crisis which we have seen in this market before. Or look to Red Bull. Uh, that's not a real new product which they offer, it's not a real new technology, but it's an innovation in marketing. And so they are very successful in building up a new branding. And uh, so these are examples how to innovate without using new technologies. We can say that human beings normally are creative people. More or less, you can say, but in uh, nearly all cases, human beings are very interested in new things. And they're interested to game, they like to experiment, they like to search new ways. That's very typical human beings. So, what is necessary for an organization is that you give incentives to the people to be open for their creativity, to bring them in in a very creative driven process and use their ideas, use their opportunities coming to better results. Maybe these are incremental innovations or radical innovations that may differ uh, from what you get, but there's a high potential and therefore the employee involvement is very important for the innovation management in companies. They have to be innovative institutions to meet the new demands of the companies and of our societies. We want to educate young people, our students, for future uh, tasks, for future uh, technologies, for future innovations. We don't know really what will happen in the future, but they have to be prepared and that's what we have to do to be open for future innovation.